So the great thing about fashion is that you can experiment with your own personal style. And a lot of the times you can work with simple things that you have at home. Right now, Joy is about to teach me a trick about how to convert a simple pair of black heels into something, let's say, a bit more fashionable and wearable. So how do we get started? Yeah. Okay, Joy. so uh -huh. the first thing that you need to do is um, make sure that you get to the middle of the... Strip. Kind of, yeah, of the like strip. Kind of like when you're doing like your hair. Okay. The weave. Like <laughs> this? Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, once you know where the center is, the first thing you're going to do is make sure that you go through the first strip, I mean the first strap, okay. <laughs> with your this strip. Kind of like tying a shoelace. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually that's exactly what it is. Okay. It's just tying a shoelace mm -hmm. until your whole shoe is covered. <laughs> so first pull it from underneath. You got it from mm, underneath, right? It took me a while to tie my shoelaces. Go like this. <laughs> okay. And then go around. And then, of so course, like when you're pulling it, you always... First, the, the, first, the, fir the first loop. Yeah, the first loop. And it's okay. too... Co like, the point is that you're trying to cover as many straps with the strip as it. much as possible. So when you're pulling it out, again, make sure that everything is even. even. So if okay. they're not even, not even, keep pulling it. Okay. Uh -huh. So after that, you just cross it. Cross it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Then go to the next strap loop. with your strip. Okay. Yeah. But then the thing is, because this one has so many strips, mm -hmm. um, straps... Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're gonna, you might have to skip a few of the straps okay. with your strip. So <laughs> let's skip two, I guess. Yeah, yeah, just skip two, I guess. And then uh, the thing about the, let me call them laces, yeah. because right now they're like shoelaces. Yeah. Do I like switch them or I keep them on their I mean, of course, sides? it just depends on the type of shoe that you have. Okay. But for these ones, because we're trying to cover this part also, the, mm -hmm. uh, like that's the most important part. Mm -hmm. So you cross it. I cross it. Then yes. you go to, you skip the first two and then go to the third one. Next strap. Yeah. Okay. And then go like underneath. That? Yeah. And then do it the same on the other side. But then you also have to realize that other shoes, mm -hmm. like most shoes have more straps on the outside than they do on the inside. Okay. So again, you're just going to have to eyeball it. So maybe you so might just have thing. to skip. Yeah, you might have to skip less. This you might have to is skip. really like tying my shoes. Exactly. That's really, the really point. Hmm. So you just strip it and then mm -hmm. twist or turn. I guess. What do you want to call it? Cross it? Yeah. I think that's good. Cross, Cross it. it. No, and like then it, it, when you go to like some areas such like mm -hmm. this, you might have to go further. Like you go through the first one, then mm -hmm. you go through the second part. So then you also do the same on the other side. You start with the so inside. You're the I'm lost. How can you be <laughs> lost? Inside. Uh-huh. Outside. So it's twice. Cross. It doesn't matter. It just depends on your shoe. But I'm saying because okay. the longer it is, the more you might have to double it up. Okay. okay. So I mean, of course, sometimes you might, especially when you're doing it yourself, it's hard to get it identical. But then the thing is, because the fabrics are so colorful. much, yeah, and so mm -hmm. colorful, it doesn't really matter exactly whether or not it is identical because nobody will actually be able to tell the okay. difference. So then Ooh. you just keep doing that Abisa. around. Hers is so neat, and you're not Ooh, getting it. I think it. it broke. I think it broke. It's not my fault. It's a shoe's fault. Okay. But you guys, Sour. You, you suck the at drip. this. So I'm going to keep my shoe aside. I'm going to let Joy exactly. finish her thing. So then you just uh -huh. keep... I can't believe you just broke a shoe. <laughs> so you just keep going around and around until you just pretty much make sure that you have covered at least okay. the middle part of the shoe. Okay. And of course, when you're doing it, you make sure that you not do it so tight that you can't loosen it up. Cause or break the shoe like Tammy Marie. Or break the shoe. Mm -hmm. So at least you'll be able to put your foot in mm -hmm. later. So once you're done, usually there's a little piece of fabric left. So when you do put it on, you either tuck it in, or if the fabric mm -hmm. is long enough, mm -hmm. you can tie a bow. Mm -hmm. So it's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. And voila.